Weddings should be memorable, but not for the groom's lack of style. That's why our friends at the Black Tux are in suits and tuxedos that you'll love wearing at your wedding. So if you wind up getting featured on a list of 23 epic wedding fails, or say your reception table catching fire, your DJ playing, let's get it on during the father-daughter dance, at least you know you'll look good for your close-up. Listen, guys stress about weddings too. Me, I've never been married, but I've had to rent quite a few bad tuxes in my day. Those rental stores, they're just renting you a penguin costume for the day. It's uncomfortable, it never looks right, and that giant bow tie, that's gotta go. It's a big day, you gotta have some style, so go to theblacktux.com. Check out their tuxes. Let me tell you, now you're dressing in style. They've even got a groom's guide with helpful tips for the groom who might be feeling a little overwhelmed by the whole getting married thing, if you know what I mean. But the best part about the Black Tux is that they have an easy online ordering process that brings your suit or tuxedo straight to you. Just pick a style at theblacktux.com and request a free home try-on so you can feel the fit and quality before you commit. And if online isn't your style, they have showrooms all over the country where you can find your fit and plan your look. From there, they'll ship your order two weeks before your wedding so you can check it out one last time. Talk about commitment. Over 5,000 five-star reviews across Wedding Wire, The Knot, and their own website. They all agree you won't find another rental experience or designs like the ones you'll find at The Black Tux. Grooms, if you want your wedding to be remembered for the right reasons, visit theblacktux.com slash listen. That's theblacktux.com slash listen for $20 off your purchase. Walk, don't run to theblacktux.com slash listen to find a look for you and your crew. Theblacktux.com, formal wear for the moment. It's the e-commerce minute, your daily dose of e-commerce tech and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The e-commerce minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's e-commerce minute episode 335. In today's episode, we work partners with Rent the Runway. At WeWork, you can rent office space. Now you can also rent clothes. The co-working giant is partnering with designer rental service Rent the Runway. Rent the Runway is staging 15 drop-off points at locations in New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Chicago, Washington, D.C., and Miami. Rent the Runway members can enter a WeWork drop-off location and return their items without having to go all the way into the office areas and can also immediately order new items to rent. WeWork members will also receive discounted Rent the Runway Rent the run. I have trouble <laughs> saying that. Rent the Runway memberships and WeWork will also host Rent the Runway. <laughs> I'm leaving it in because I, I don't want to be here all day. WeWork will also host Rent the Runway pop-ups at several locations and spotlight 10 influential female WeWork members in a Woman of the Future campaign featuring fashion photos and commentary. The partnership with WeWork offers Rent the Runway, another bricks and mortar marketing channel. The company currently has five stores in major metro markets, including one in the Neiman Marcus department store. WeWork CFO Artie Minson considers the Rent the Runway partnership to be one more way the company is moving into retail. WeWork is also expanding its We Market concept dedicated to selling products made by WeWork members to more than 500 locations over the next few years, along with plans for an e commerce store. Rent the runway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I had trouble with that one. Uh, John, we have trouble sometimes, a lot of times. <laughs> Nerds are hard. <sighs> Let me talk pretty one day. <laughs> so this is this is really good for people who subscribe to Rent the Runway. Um, mm-hmm. I, one of the things that I read, um, a pain point for them is you can't, so if you return a piece of clothing that you have rented, you can't rent more until they get the other piece back. But if you go to one of these drop-off points, and there are, are other drop-off points besides WeWork, if you go to the drop-off point, your subscription resets right away and you can actually, while you're there dropping off, you can, I guess they're going to have a terminal there or whatever, where you can um, order new clothes. Yeah. That's good. I mean, it it's takes cool. out that, that delay. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's good. Cause it's, it's definitely, I mean, first of all, no runway is amazing. Um, you know, it's, it's, very expensive clothing that you can just rent um, and dropping it off. And it depends how you use it. Right. I mean, I've seen some women just use it every week, pretty much. Yeah, no, it's um, really cool. Um, for those who don't know what it is, it's basically a subscription service and you can pick different packages. Um, there's some that just start at like $30 per rental and it goes all the way up to, I think there's a subscription like $160 a month, but it's great for a woman who needs some really dressy clothes but doesn't need to wear dressy clothes all the time. Like you have a function or you have a job interview 
or you have a weekly thing that you have to do, or you're someone who works at home three days a week and two days you got to go in the office. Why bother? Why buy these expensive outfits? You can just rent these really beautiful fashion forward clothes. It's definitely cheaper than buying it. And your wardrobe is always updated. And who doesn't like that? Yeah. in places like New York where you don't, you, you can't, have a closet <laughs> yeah right you don't have a closet you don't have any closet you have clothes but you don't have a closet to put it in yeah 160 dollars a month doesn't sound too bad yeah exactly so one stat uh, 90 percent of the rent the runway subscribers are busy working women and the company had to increase their workwear category by 250 percent just to keep up with demand and it's a good fit with we work because a lot of these entrepreneurial women work very close to we work locations because we works are everywhere in cities like new york yeah. At uh, that <laughs> time, we work now ranks as New York City's largest office tenant. So there's that. Uh, yeah. What's the number right now? Some crazy. Well, they have 268,000 members in 287 locations in 77 cities and 23 countries. <laughs> Is it 270 locations? I thought it was more than that. Uh, well, that was a, this was we work locations. We're live Googling, folks. Um, Hold on. Uh, 472, my what? friend. 472 in 91 cities. Wow, this is old, old math here. All right, let me change this. 472. <laughs> That's not even close, Bart. Whoever, whoever wrote this number is... <laughs> 472. Number incorrect as well. All right, let's start again. So we have some WeWork stats. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many members? Can you give me a member number? Uh, I don't, uh, I don't see gotta be more than 268 if they've got almost <laughs> double the amount of locations. Yeah. I have no idea. Um, anyway, but 472 well, of his locations, 91 cities. 20, uh, I do not know 20. how many members. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Um, we're big, we work supporters. So that's why we do these stories. We like the concept. We like working it. We, we like, we work. Um, <laughs> and this rent the wrong way. Um, I, I see. I like, I like when they do these kind of partnerships because it's, Half, half of the reason you go to WeWork is there's some sort of, you know, uh, convenience and also cost savings. You know, you work, get to work in a, in a cool urban environment without the rents. And when you take this, you know, this concept of rent the wrong way, which is almost the same type of thing where it's like you're, you're getting the elegance at half the price. Um, you combine the two. I think it's a great partnership. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We work also partner with J Crew. We did a story back that in, in February. Um, so I think they're going to keep doing these these types of partnerships as We Work seems to be dipping their toe more into retail. I think only because of the fact that they have so much damn real estate um, makes sense. Yeah, and I think um, I think uh, from uh, just reading news, I mean they bought the Lauren Taylor or they're leasing the Lauren Taylor right. building, and they, I think they're going to put a whole bunch of retail on that one. Now that would make sense. Um, that's that's their headquarters now, right? Or it's going to be their headquarters? Oh, it's, I, th I believe that's going to be their headquarters, yeah. Right. And then the, I think they left a floor of the Lord and Taylor intact. I think the bottom floor, I believe. Bottom floor. And then I guess they'll put all their retail in there, which would make total sense, especially mm -hmm. in a place like New York City. So pretty cool. All right. You got anything else? That is it, sir. All right. There's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.